Hey guys, how is it going? My name is Mr. Gunieri, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. This potentially might be the last episode. I'm going to do the bucket ending, the bu bucket escape ending, and then stuff in the micro control facility. I don't think there's much else to explore. I may have forgotten some stuff. But we shall see what happens, obviously, because when you play, stuff happens. I'm just here, eh? I didn't even get. Was this the same as before? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Goodbye, cruel world! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley and the bucket were led helpless, they got her in to do more lines as well. Oh my god. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently. What to about death. what about Stanley's life? I'm pretty <laughs> It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. What about Stanley? It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way. But this one stood above the rest. Yes, it do. It was a glorious bucket to behold. The bucket. Oh my god. It's like an obituary. Welcome to the Grand Bucket Exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within a carve cavernous void even. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and sustained. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. What will... Will you take what you learn here with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? I guess we're about to find out if I am bucket exhibitable. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stan oh to take a bucket 25 like buckets. and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? There's more than 25 buckets here. <laughs> What's this? A bucket with two handles. The bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Fucking hell. This isn't even the standard museum ending, it's a bucket ending. <laughs> Inferno Bucket. A replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains, no one can control a bucket. Bucket Museum. A stress bucket of an analogy. What? Worrying. Negative forecasting. Negative thinking. A lack of reassurance. Vulnerability. Size and strength of the bucket. Coping strategies, holes, to relax, rest and relaxation, do something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. Stress, the level of water in the bucket, the stress bucket. Incredible. <laughs> cave drawing. While we know the bucket predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already like been around for several millennia. Notice in these ruins how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having just humanity to be worthy of its treasures. What's in the dark room? No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Yes. <laughs> What's blue? The hanging bucket. Oh! This piece symbolizes a necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This is distance, inevitably, is for our own good. Um. Whee! What the fuck? I took the bucket. It's my bucket now. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Oh. 
Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. I love how it's reverse of the usual escape death. The long load. Are you sure this is a normal, normal load? Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. It's a uh, fact good dialogue, man. The bucket's still here. Yes. Uh, so if we do... We do the... Okay. There's two, th uh, there's two endings I'm going to do now. The mind control facility off. Stanley came to a set of two open and doors, then off with a bucket. The door <laughs> on his left. Sure, I'll get back there. Which is yeah, going to be a, a few minutes of walking. Here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What? Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley won. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Yep. That kind of anxiety is not ah. healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Open the fucking door. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yes. Whoop. So now we're going to go micro control facility, turn it off, and see if there's actually a way you can do it. Because there didn't used to be a way. But maybe they've added something in, probably. Because this game is insane. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I gotta sit through this as well. Oh my god. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the Can I get out? To find out. <laughs> I got on the table. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee oh. in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals um. reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored. Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. What? Welcome. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, Getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug. I did not know that. You simply didn't catch during development. Incredible. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the... Bottom of the mind control room ending. If that enhances your perception of the value of these updates, isn't that what you crave? New. What if content? you do this with a bucket? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music Let's just go. for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. Good job. You did it. Good job. 
that very slightly out of tune guitar. Incredible. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> ah! Right. Let's I go back. To tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How Let's go do that again, shall we? <laughs> oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? So we want to do... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the, the door on his left. mind control facility actually getting to it and turning it off. That again with the bucket, Yet and then going to destroy the bucket in the bucket destroying machine. A wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This should open now. I've been here a couple of times. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. <laughs> blah blah blah. Dark secrets. The keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh hey, look! It's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Kill surprise. Whee. Right, mind control facility. Mind control facility with bucket. Destroy bucket in bucket down elevator right section. I think that might be close to the end, what I can remember. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door. The There's probably. Mind control facility. Is there any endings I've done that I haven't taken the bucket to yet? I don't remember. I mean, there's that ending I just got just then without a bucket, but... Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Because I first got on here, I was like, what if I glitch out? Hold, Stanley thought to himself. Oh, I can do it here? Did okay. He have the strength to find out? Maybe you can't do this with a bucket. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. <laughs> no. He no. refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert it. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the <laughs> controls, did you? Yeah. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. 
In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. That's bad. Not long until detonation then. Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making ah. things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time. We have three shine. attempts remaining. You are the star. It's your story now. And they will back up how to activate. Your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments Blue until three. the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each what one does that mean? is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Blue three. A One. moment of solace before you're obliterated. Two. All right, I'm in a good mood. Which one's three? Die anyway. I'll tell you exactly Zabber. what happened to them. <laughs> I erased them. I I've got time. The machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Four. Sometimes Fuck. when I tell it, I Where's three? you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Is that over there? Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Falls up here. Near. Say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense. Of I feel like the bucket's going to be able to let you solve this. <laughs> you, it's quite Four. Rich. I almost hate to see it Why go. is it booping weirdly? But I'm Did sure I get it wrong? Whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Five's over there. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Uh, you know what? To hell with it. Uh, I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These yeah. Are precious oh, additional thank seconds, you. Time doesn't what if I turn it off? Over here. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Yeah. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that's one sad? red? That this video game can be beaten? Yeah. One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose one in this place is? <laughs> red? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't Wait, to keep the are they actually the things? It's just seconds ticking away to you. Is that actually things you're that... still playing instead of watching a cutscene because so... I watch you for every moment that you're powerless. So two purple. To see you made humble. Is this actually this something you can do now? Or am I being stupid? It's a tragedy. Purple. If you wanted to control <laughs> this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So no. you can't. Oh. Take a look at the clock, stand. What do you mean? That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Out of the door! Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All apart. went well. <laughs> and believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. I wonder if that's the same as the first game because I don't remember the coloured numbers doing things, but it like cycled through. And if you got it wrong, it reset. Um, what? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Hey, Bucket. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the fuck has happened here? The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. What has happened? <laughs> what, 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 what? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Was that part of that ending? Or something else? Still, hey no one was here. Gonna go. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more Upstairs. than ever. Perhaps his boss's office. I have just realized how fucking hungry I am. <laughs> Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm gonna eat something after this, man. 
So we're going to do that ending again. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Do that the bucket ending the again with the bucket. Was the bucket. I feel like the bucket's going to tell me the code. Yes. This is certainly the most logical. And then maybe the code will work on the non-bucket version. <laughs> also, I guess I'm going to check if you can jump out the map with a bucket. But I don't feel like that's going to change much. What if you get outside the window at the start with the bucket? There's so many opportunities for new stuff. There has to be a point where you're like, actually, I'm done with this game, though, because you could just follow Stay endings and threads forever. Through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Let's see if I can get out the map with the bucket. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? How did I get Stanley up and the before? Bucket both wondered to themselves. How did I get up so easily before? Hey. It was this one. I guess I'll do it again with the bucket and see what happens. You know. The monitors jumped to life and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped. Monitored Whee! like guinea pigs. The bucket, but just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, <laughs> which safely cushioned his fall. Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. Stanley and the bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. Oh. It really wasn't so bad down here. A bit cold, perhaps. After some time had gone by, they installed a few shelves. Yeah. And a sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the bucket was craving paninis. Paninis. Oh, my God. I'll fancy a panini. Holy shit. Rugs and the standing lamps came in that it really started to feel... I really want a panini now. In fact, How dare you, game? time, Stanley realized... That it had been ages since he had even thought of the mind control facility at all. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there, never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. Oh my god. It unsettled the bucket deep. Oh dear. Stanley wasn't usually like this. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. It was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This what if I no just... Sense at all to the bucket. Which was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably what as possible. What if I just go over this way? Yet Stanley was unconsolable. I just stopped, okay. <laughs> this isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. The bucket sighed. True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. Maybe. It's what the bucket was counting on. The it's the waited for a very long time. It's the bucket void ending. Every ending has a bucket ending and it's terrifying and amazing. Ah. Wait, can you come All back here once you have the gone. bucket? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You can. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? What if I go outside with a bucket? Wee. Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. <sighs> We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Of the countless wars it witnessed. Desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. And the bucket's own complicity therein. Of sadness and regret and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, 
to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. What the, the fuck? Opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. <laughs> what are you talking about? He screamed. You're Jesus. A bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in the nations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. Sorry? I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No! Stanley screamed even louder. Jesus Christ. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This He's... is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? He sounds like an actor in Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Wear Rabbit. Transforming into a mighty beast of untold power. Its fangs glistening like What? It's time to just get God. <gasps> you did it. You saved us from the bucket. What? Thank God, you already had all twelve emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket. Oh my god. the dark magic cast away inside of it. This is... <laughs> I'm trying to get to an ending, and I keep getting new ones. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers. Right. I thought, how amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh? It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket <laughs> so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. So there's two Stanley things I want to do with the bucket. bucket I want chest and Let's go do this one. We're actually going to get to the fucking mind control facility ending this time. <laughs> Keep getting distracted by Stanley everything. <laughs> Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Did I ever go downstairs with the bucket? Was we're coming to yeah, I did. Staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the bosses. I never went downstairs without the bucket. <laughs> so many endings. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Five. Crushed by the weight of this, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Yes. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Gonna get the micro ending facility thing. This time, I believe. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I mean, I thought this might have been the final video, but I still have a decent amount after this the to do. Rose do I? On an enormous room packed with television screens. I'm trying to think. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. I mean, there's also coming back the from the lift room, life. crane and room, nearly the conveyor thing, shock. and going Everyone to the right in the instead of straight back. Videotaped. Monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. The bucket? It gently, <laughs> reassuring it that everything would be fine. The bucket's losing it. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do? Or not want to do in the first place. These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. Jesus. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never! Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Bucket's gonna save my life, proof. I believe. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, 
or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machine... But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. The bucket? Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Aww. Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Do I get more birds? Oh, I get to cycle through birds! Yo! <laughs> Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. owls. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. I love it. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Incredible. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. <laughs> the one who had pointed him towards what is that? the incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Look at that fucking mohawk! Of all the possible paths his life could have taken. Penguins! This one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. My fucking flamingos are very pink. Okay, I guess you don't get to escape with Bucket for silly. Cool. <laughs> that was a quicker end than I expected. Workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace, protective yet delicate, assertive yet compassionate. What's happened? What is? Why is this from like side? Different. It's weird. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Yes. Never mind. No. The bucket was so we're going to go into here. Stanley took the door on his left. Go downstairs and destroy the bucket. Detour through the maintenance section and walk straight ahead to the opposite door. Because this might destroy the bucket forever, but I don't think so. But we shall see. <laughs> oh. Good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. Let me the bucket in. isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Cross. The baby. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. The they weird warp baby. Favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never bucket. seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Yes. We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what... Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Do any of these doors work? Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. Destroy the bucket. If we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid I understand. Of <laughs> That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new... Did I turn it on last time or was it just like... This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley I think I just Parable. clicked it at the same time it, it turned also on. It was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality. Because there's more luck. To me, it no, already feels as there. though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Yeah. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for Destroys you. buckets? Some... Go ahead Whee! now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. 
It won't let me. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket I'm trying to do if it can't destroy your bucket. But it destroy won't let me. Buckets is all it knows. I hold left click. I press left click. It like the bucket's scared. Hear you saying, How does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you I'm sorry. Really I thought there was another ending here. <laughs> you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of I'm trying. merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back. Can't to I jump in myself? I can't jump. <laughs> like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... I tried. I could not throw the bucket away. <laughs> there was an attempt. Okay, so what does that leave? The bucket destroyer. My prize I mean, creation. Quickly have a check. So much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spell binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Terrible. Goodbye. New Deluxe friend. edition. For the moment in time that you were here. Deluxe endings. You were magnificent. There might be some new endings. I shall see. Cold feet ending. Ultra deluxe endings. Okay. Skip button ending. Sequel ending. The infinite hole ending. Figurines ending. Stanley Bucket reassurance endings. Yep. Uh. Stanley Parable Epiluge. Ah! So the Epiluge is the opening and closing the game a lot. That's like one of the final endings. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I could do that. Uh, there's also... Workers were gone. What could it mean? What else did do? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's downstairs without the bucket. Is there anywhere else I haven't taken the bucket yet? I don't actually think so. Okay, in that case... Is this going to work? It should do. I should be able to close out and into the game. What's this? Is that the epilogue without having to do it? Epilogue. I think this might be the final part. <laughs> I'm okay with this being the final part. Many, many years later. I was here. This is the desert land that I escaped from after the skip button ending. And Stanley just been walking for many, many years. Because <laughs> this is like probably millions of thousands of years into the future. Oh. He found a chair? <laughs> hey. What if I just wander off? <laughs> I'm gone. Can't stop this. <laughs> That's the sandstorm. No, all the poor chairs. Why are there so many chairs? <laughs> Oh, there's also, actually, let me just check. Because there was the, um... This is going everywhere. There was the... Which one was it? When I got the... The... The secret tape. What? The secret tapes. There was that weird creature that was mentioned, and it got mentioned again after I stabbed the bucket. Is that something? 
Maybe it's here. <laughs> Should finish this ending before I fucking start wondering what the hell's happening. This is... One of the... This is here. Oh, maybe this is where it's heading. I'm a bit scared. This is fine. This is getting dark. What is that? Review the Stanley Parable 2. Cookie 9's blog. How the fuck did you... How did you review this? Like so many, I dread my time in the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly just what I am in the sequel. With the first game team of Vidra and Act, Stanley Parable is dull, uninspired, and often insulting its fan base. Oh, wait. I see. This was... Okay. This makes sense. Uh, rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into a territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about the what about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get uninspired side quests, collecting figurines. Even the diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. This was the, the, the narrator's version too, not this Ultra Deluxe version. <laughs> Stanley Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. What the hell is this? Buttons! And gym buttons. Uh, while the Stanley Parable launched a massive success in 2015, its creator made plans to build the property into an entire franchise, but a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted developers to rethink their ambitions, as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, read the press release. We thought we had a vision for the series that players were being excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the autistic integrity, artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. Get on the green. Amazing. There's so many gym buttons around. <laughs> Wait, so they didn't actually finish the buttons. They just said gym all the time still. Gym, gym, gym. Gym, gym. 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 Jim, 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 Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. I feel like there's an achievement to press all the Jim buttons. What the hell's over there? Jim, Stan, Jim, Stanley, 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 Jim. It's me. <laughs> they figured out how to make the button say another name. Incredible. What on earth is happening in here? There's so many figurines. Hello. What the fuck? What? Let's go into the hole. Whee! I've fallen into the map. Oh, okay. D Hello again. It's you! I remember you. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, no, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was obsessed with people who thought of his what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not that far hard. In fact, let me show you. Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple, all we do is change the number in the green title screen. We also really need a dumb subtitle for the game, something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Stanley Parable 3. Return to... Return to moon zone. And return to moon. Stanley Parable 3, return to moon. It's absurd, I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game will change when you do this, either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It will just be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. Yeah, you see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you that broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. We see. I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to get this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral 
in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. <laughs> Fucking hell. It is... Oop, crest. It is... How do PMs work? It is... No, it's 4. 4.17 4, PM. Please adjust the side until the computer is barely visible. We're doing this again. Thank you. Please enjoy the standard power roll. That was the first ever time it told me to load up. <laughs> it kept it. That's incredible. What? So what if we begin now? What happens? This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm here. Okay. I think that's All pretty much gone, everything. What could it mean? I'm trying to think Stanley what else there is. Decided to go to the meeting room. Ah, Stanley's bucket, the only co-worker he would ever truly need. I mean, I guess there's the the input code. Why is that back? Oh. New content? What does it uh, mean? New content. I didn't get to go in here with a bucket before. What is this? <laughs> this is no. Somehow. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Well, okay, I get to go upstairs in here. The Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I have a bucket this time? Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized that bucket you're holding. It's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? <laughs> you have the bucket already. This, this makes no sense at all. I broke the game. There's, so there's more content here now. On. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? Yeah. I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. That's a concern. I guess we're gonna keep going for a little bit longer. All right, all right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. I have no jumps left. Okay. Hmm. Is that the only dialogue for that room? The okay. Hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? The giant and door. None of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did yeah. they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? The Have um, out how the, hell the hole was cool. Sequel to this game? I want to take the bucket upstairs. Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yeah. Yes. You carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. Yeah. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it. I win. I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 So... Is that a separate ending then? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, Stanley thought to himself. 
Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? So I wanted to. They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Wait. There was. What was I going to do before I found the new content bucket? No, no, the orders were still missing. For now. Oh, wait, it reset me so I couldn't get to the fucking input code to sign. Pick up the bucket. Is yeah. Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. Still there. No, surely not. So, okay. Well, that'll just give me that one again. Is there any... I want to go... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the Empire I want to go check one thing. Place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. I want to check... Stanley took the door on his left the to go back to the meeting room. Bit under here no, that has said the, bucket. the thing in. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Is this still going to be that weird tape ending? Probably. Maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I get to see what the hell this is. What if I do this without a bucket? Is this just the same one? Okay. This is day number 209. Okay. What? Uh, I'm going to go there without the bucket very quickly. And then I will call it. <laughs> How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Maybe I'll get eaten by the thing centuries. if I don't have a bucket for safety. Did something crucial happened while my senses were turned? Oh, actually. He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. What? What if I go this way and up the stairs? Go this way and up the stairs at the end of the uh, new content. Wait, it literally skipped it. That was incredible. <laughs> So I, yeah, this okay, I'll do that. I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about what? how roundly disappointing oh my God. this ultra deluxe <laughs> More content. turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this. Do I have V-Sync turned off? Hold on. <laughs> I felt like I should have checked this at the start of the series, but it's fine. It's on. Okay. It just it felt a bit weird. Nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. What'd you do? Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever oh. the Stanley Parable 2. So I can't actually go... Oh, okay. That's annoying. Fine. Whatever. You can't go back to the ending. So what was actually upstairs there? Because I can never get back to it. That's fine. Um, for now, I think that is the majority of Sunny Parable. All of his co-workers were gone. Anything I missed is probably going to be slight, but I'm pretty sure I got all the new endings and all the old ones. I felt like I have. So this has been the Stanley Parable. It's been incredible. Let me quit the menu and see if there's anything news here. Just this. What if I... I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to quit to desktop and then reload it. Back up with the new uh, thing to see what happens. See if it does the narrator talk, man. Crows, crows, crows. Stanley Parable 4. Beyond cheese. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Beyond cheese sneeze. The Stanley Parable 4. <laughs> I wonder how long you could do that for. That's incredible. Either way, way, way. Uh, thank you very much for watching the videos. If you've liked them, please like them. And I will see you in the future for my next game. Bye-bye.